Good morning, everybody. We're back at it again with more airlift project stuff for the back setup of my car. Today, it's something that I don't think I've ever done before, just like this entire project has been so far. I'm going to be, well, I got this package in, which I'll open at a better angle than this. And I'm pretty much going to be cutting out this thing and putting in a mount for my airlift controller inside of my armrest because I don't want it to just be dangling on a wire and like look half-assed. Just follow me on this journey and hopefully there's not that many hiccups. All right, so here's the box I was talking about. It's pretty, it's pretty rudimentary. It's just, boom, look at that. That slides into my armrest and then comes with these little rubber things that I don't even know if I'm going to use the small one that go in here. And this is a mount for my controller. It just slides in there. It's actually a really tight fit. And a local guy who has a 3D printer uh, printed this for me, which is really cool because I've never had anything 3D printed before. I'm excited to see this. And it's going to pretty much be going right there at the notch and flush with the bottom and then when I'm done I'm probably going to end up uh, suede wrapping this this rectangle right here so that it looks nice. The tools I'm going to use is the CA glue, uh, some files and then a rotary tool like a Dremel and I think I have some plastic cut wheels in there. That's about it. Let's do this. I really need to change out the bit on this Dremel because this thing is completely destroyed. It's actually the one I used uh, to modify the bags. And then we're just going to slide this guy right on here. I already ran into my first issue. This thing right here is not centered. So there's like less material on this side than on this side. So if I did end up centering this on here, the controller would actually be towards this side. So I need to find a way to center the actual controller part with the body of this. So I'm going to try measuring some stuff out. I'll get back to y'all when I figure it out. I'm going to end up making a paper template for this thing because I think paper is thinner and it's easier to work with. That looks pretty good. All right, let's cut this thing up. I'm not left-handed, so let me put the camera down. So this has to fit like this, right? So this is what I came up with. This is a little template that I drew up, which has the little margins, and it shows how it would be this way. So that's the top on this side. Obviously, this part is going to be pretty much like this, but translated on the other side. So like this. And then in order to keep this margin, I have to flip it. And then now we're going to center this piece of paper on this side right there and then I'll draw it out I think I got it there it is <sighs> let's get to cutting Here's what I have so far. I ended up using plastic weld from JB Weld because the gaps I cut were actually a little too big for that CA glue. Right now it's curing. I'm trying to get it pretty level inside of here so that it's not like tilty. And then once that cures, I'll probably lay down some more JB Weld on the back right here so that all these cracks are filled up and then I can probably start bondoing, sanding it, and then wrap it in suede. Let's go test this thing out in the car, see how it fits. First step is putting this thing in here. Super snug. That's awesome. Then this goes right, right there. So it's gonna sit like that. That's pretty cool. Let me open it. Nice. So I got some good old fashioned Bondo on this thing. 
and it dried actually really fast so I'm about to sand it down and then hopefully it'll be smooth enough to wrap in suede. Okay. I know. Here it is, sanded and ready to get suede. Luckily, it came with this rubber little insert right here. That's a perfect template for me to cut the suede to. So let's go downstairs to the garage, cut some suede, and get ready to glue this thing on. I took the liberty to mask this thing off off camera because my battery had to charge. But now, we're gonna go downstairs. There's the suede. And the scissors. Oh, right. And this guy, all right, magic happens. There it is. It's not perfect, perfect, but I think it gets the job done. All right, let's get that spray adhesive. There you are. Oh, it's hard to get stuff through the lens. All right, be right back. As you can see, they are sprayed and covered. Now, I need to delicately put this on and I don't think I can do that on camera. I have it wrapped in suede. As you can see, it's not perfect. Uh, I did the best I could with my skill set, but I like it. I might paint it black around just to like cover up some of the glue and some of that Bondo that didn't get covered with the suede. But right now I'm gonna cut out the hole for the controller and then see where to go from there. Painting this thing and I'll let it dry for a minute and then I'll peel it and hopefully it doesn't look as bad as before. I ended up misplacing the rest of that footage. <laughs> so I'm gonna go shoot the rest of this video downstairs so that you guys can see what the final product looks like. Don't mind my flip flops. It's almost summer, okay? Alexa, turn on lights. Oh, that is bright. I need to open all my windows or else you guys won't see anything in there because it's kind of too dark. That's better. It's actually been over a month since I did the install and I think it still looks the same as the first day. Here y'all go. Look at that. Isn't that a badass install? I think it's awesome. It works with how like simple and classy the interior of the car is and I can kind of store stuff under here let me start it up not the car because my garage is still closed but at least I see the remote on as you can see it works perfectly fine if I were to air up There's that. I'm gonna turn off the ignition because the compressor's too loud. Well, thank y'all for watching this short video. I hope it was informative or at least entertaining. Please subscribe to this channel because I'm trying to make some more content. And the more you guys subscribe, the more I feel like I'm doing a good job. And drop a like and a comment if you can. And don't forget to um, be lazy.